Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. More specifically, welcome to an episode on budget phone filmmaking. This is going to be really, really cool. So the lovely guys over at Zion reached out and said they wanted to sponsor a video. So as you can see on the table right now, we've got their X Smooth gimbal and then we've also got another one in the box right here, which if you stay tuned towards the end of the video, we're actually going to be giving this one away to you guys. But first off, I really want to unbox this Google Pixel 4a. Now, like you can see right here, this is a gimbal for your smartphone. Not only is it a gimbal for your smartphone, it's a cheap one. It comes in right here, I've got it on Amazon right now, at 69 pounds, which is absolutely mental for a gimbal. Two years ago, gimbals were like, I don't know, cheapest 200 pounds or something like that. So this is cool for the price. So try and stay parallel with the cheap price of this gimbal. Thought it would be cool to pair it with the brand new Pixel 4a, which is, as you can see there upside down, £349. Google sent this out to me like they send all of their phones, so uh, yeah, here it is. They've sent me uh, some whatever the hell that is, and the bittersweet treat. <laughs> I feel like this, I feel like I'm not meant to be eating this. Oh my God, that is so weird. Do you want some? Okay, so here we have our Google Pixel 4a. This is our budget phone. We're gonna be putting this on the little gimbal to see what we can get. And here is the gimbal itself. And you may be looking at thinking, how is that a gimbal? So essentially this comes out, rotates like that. And then you put your phone essentially in there, like you can see right here. But you see, here's the catch with this, as well as being able to screw this on the bottom to give you a little bit of uh, extra length here, this actually has a hidden telescopic hole in it, so you can go ahead and do like full on selfie mode, gimbalized selfies with this thing. And we're gonna get into all of that when we go out and actually shoot later in practice. You can actually get some pretty cool shots with this just because of the telescopic arm, like you could do some like crane movements. I'm imagining like coming down like that. You've got your power button and status indicator lights there. You've got a joystick, a record button, and a mode button, I assume to change between different modes that this gimbal has. It really is as simple as that. It locks back down into a small package. You take that off, you've got a carry case. Okay, I say we zip this thing up and go head to head. Okay, so in this hand here, I've got the Pixel 4a. In this hand here, I've got one of our two gimbals for today's shoot. I'm gonna put these here because you're gonna use these. So what Jed and I are gonna do is we're gonna go out and get two shots each, right? My shots, I think my first one, I wanna do a sort of slow motion dog running shot. The second one, I wanna use a feature of this gimbal in the app, which is like the hyperlapse feature. So it's a moving time lapse, essentially. And those are gonna be my two shots. What am I doing? Bit of a crane shot, kind of like that. Interesting. Do like a from high to low, see if we can do like mimic sort of like a budget crane shot. This, to be fair, it comes just just over 400 pounds for that. Just for these two things you, here, you with the phone. Like a, a, a vlog set up or whatever for just over 400 quid. Sick, innit? Good morning. Right, should we go and film? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm currently filming this with my iPhone in the crane. So hopefully, and I'm gonna cheat, right? I am going to cheat. I'm going to use the booster board for my shot that I'm gonna get, my first shot with Atlas. You could call it the selfie stick, the telescopic pole. Another one is the fact that if you just twist this thing upside down, it still 100% works like this. So essentially I can ride the booster board and get a really low profile shot of the dog running, hopefully in 4K 60 FPS via the iPhone XS Max. I'm hoping this is gonna look really good. Okay, so on the fact that it is about 35 degrees today, we have a very limited time to do this. I'm gonna say 30 seconds, because I don't really want to walk the dog because it's so hot. So hopefully, one take with this gimbal. Okay, so 
So I went there in 4K60 and then I thought to myself, no, I think we could do with the extra frames. So I dropped to 1080 to 240 FPS and this just looks absolutely mega. Like, look at that. Okay, so we're now on the Pixel 4a in the gimbal. I've got it on the front camera with the telescopic arm out and Jed and I are currently walking to our location. Look at this place there, this is Insane. pretty cool. And this gimbal is really steady, even though it's two axis and I'm walking. That's pretty good, isn't it, that? Okay, so my idea basically <clears throat> is to drop like that to go from a high shot to a low and reveal something in the foreground. Because it's kind of like a super budget crane shot. So we've come out to Newark Town Centre, which is my uh, hometown, to hopefully try and get a really cool hyperlapse. Now a hyperlapse is essentially a moving time lapse. So to make this look really cool, you need two things. One, a something to like home in on and look at, and two, moving objects. We've got both of those here with like a statue over there, obviously all the cars around here, so hopefully this is gonna look really good. However, the gimbal's currently charging in the car because we made the classic error of not charging it when we got it out the box and we've been using it, to be fair, all day. But it is super, super cool. I've noticed a few things whilst we have been using it. It does work in portrait mode, so if you double tap the M button, it switches into portrait mode. Gimbal still works absolutely fine. And also the app that comes with it, you actually don't get access to any of the features if it's not paired to the gimbal. So if you think about it, when you're buying the actual gimbal, you're paying for this app as well and all of these cool features, like the hyperlapse feature, for example, that I'm gonna to utilize to hopefully get this next shot. So let's get cracking. Oh, okay, so uh, it died on us, yeah. We made the silly mistake of not charging it before we went out onto location. So make sure you do that. It was actually giving us some activation problems. It wasn't saying that the battery wasn't sufficiently charged. It was giving us activation problems. So we reached out to Zion, sent them a quick email, and they said, just make sure that when you're activating this thing, it's plugged in and it's got enough battery so it completes its activation process. Because like I mentioned, the app that comes with this thing, it has to be paired with one of these so you can't just download the app and use all of the awesome features that come with it. But now we have some power. Let's go back out and see if we can get this shot. Okay, so we're back with the new gimbal. Let's see if we can get a hyperlapse of this statue here whilst I walk around looking like a complete idiot. La 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 la! Oh, that is actually sick. Wow. I can't believe how well it works. That is so cool. <laughs> that is good. That is, that is quite good. impressive. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time for me to sit down and give you guys my honest thoughts of this cheap ass Zyun gimbal. But first, we need to cue the music. Next. Next. That'll do. So all of those shots that you've just seen were shot on this here two axis gimbal. And I wanna start my conversation with you guys there. Yes, this gimbal is two axis. Alex, does it make all that much of a difference? And I would say down here at 60 pounds, you've gotta bear that in mind. The answer's no. So the axes that this gimbal is missing out on is the roll axes. It's not gonna stabilize out the roll axes, which is essentially the axes where you would tilt forward and back. That is gonna be in your footage when you're tilting this gimbal. So you just need to make sure you hold it upright. But to be honest, most modern phones have got insane stabilization built in anyway. So the fact that you may have a little few jitters forward and back, the phone should iron those out. I mean, you've seen in all of our clips, I was even on the skateboard. This thing was flawless. 
Now it also makes up for the fact that it's two axes by having this awesome telescopic handle. And I like this for two reasons. The first being that because it doesn't have that roll axis, you can actually use this telescopic handle as a crane and you can pull off a pretty cool, pretty cinematic crane shot just because you've got this extra length here. The second reason is that they say in filmmaking, the further away you take your hands, from the actual lens of the camera, the more stable the footage is gonna be. So by having the phone all the way up here, it's sort of dissipating all of the little micro jitters and shakes that your hands are pushing into the gimbal. So by the time the phone is all the way up here, you've got yourself a really, really steady shot. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about the two axes. This is really, really steady. I also really like the fact that it has a portrait mode really quickly just by double tapping the button right there. That's gonna be great for doing things like selfies, more on that in a second, and recording things like TikToks, which are primarily more in the portrait fashion nowadays. Now, like I was talking about earlier, you have to activate this thing via the app. And that's because I think a lot of the reasons as to why you would buy this whole setup is because of the features that the app give you. So you can't just go ahead and download the app for free and use the features. You have to actually own one of these gimbals to have access to it, if that makes sense. One of the really cool features that I actually found myself using is the gesture control. So let me go ahead and turn it on here, place this down on the side. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hold my hand up like that. Now it's armed the recording on my phone and it's actually tracking my face. So if I was to sort of move around the frame here, you can see that the gimbal is actually keeping me in the frame and it does a really good job of it, man. <laughs> That's sick. Right, enough of that. So let's wrap this up then. Alex, what do you think of this little Zion gimbal? Well, for 60 pounds, I think it's a steal. I think it's built well. I think it serves a purpose. As well as that, you get all of the cool features in the app. I think this is gonna be really popular for people making online videos, short online videos like YouTube videos or TikToks, or maybe even if you're a tourist, you like to go around traveling places and you wanna get some really cool footage. And you can also, if you're a filmmaker by yourself, take advantage of those gesture controls built right in. And remember guys, we're giving one of these away. So if you would like to enter, just go ahead and use that comment box below. And let us know what was your favorite shot that we managed to get with this gimbal. Was it Atlas Running? Was it my time lapse? Was it some of the stuff Jed got? Just let us know why in the comments and we'll pick one of you next week. But for now, if you wanna buy one, we'll put the link below that like button. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflow, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.